You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Following an abrupt end midway through the festival of 2020, a two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Cambodia International Film Festival is finally set to return for its 11th edition from the 28th of June to the 3rd of July 2022. EAC News reporter Dashana Guchin has the details. The Cambodia International Film Festival held its first press conference at Rosewood Hotel to announce the return of the festival in June on Wednesday, 25th May 2022. The official poster for the 11th edition of the festival was also unveiled, based on an original painting titled Just Born by Kachao Tuot, a female artist based in Batambang. The Cambodia International Film Festival, or CIF, has been jointly organized by the Popana Audiovisual Resource Center and the Cambodia Film Commission since 2010, with the support of the Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts, the Ministry of Information, the Ministry of Tourism, the Ministry of Education, among others. Speaking at the press conference, the director of CIF, Cedric Eloy, remarked on the history of the festival, saying that it was first organized 12 years ago at a time when the film industry was just starting with the Bopana Center as the only film organization and the creation of the Cambodia Film Commission. He added that they collectively believed that the film festival was an essential tool to witness the progress of the industry and develop education through film, which then also helped lead to the opening of modern theaters, inspired hundreds of young Cambodians to be involved in films, and had a direct impact on attracting foreign films to Cambodia. When asked about what impact fostering a film culture through this festival has had on society, the SIF director said that he has seen great positive change in the way films are now created, and said he thinks the festival has helped to open people's minds. Of course, when we when we saw the first short film, you know, 10 years ago, they are only linked to mostly a style of advertising or karaoke. And now we can see that the the way of making films is changing. We have no uh, more creative ways of filming. And I think uh, it's something that needs uh, to be uh, shown and supported to, to really bring this new generation that has discovered film at the festival but also in other other events because now f f filmmakers also are able to travel and have uh, had a lot of opportunities to to go to other festivals so I think it's opened the mind but uh, one part of uh, learning to make films is to see films to watch a lot of different films so CFF has really been built to do that meaning that just by staying in Phnom Penh for a week you can see a film from all over the world with different format, different topics, different style. You can go for your interest, but it's really the strength to be able to see a uh, different uh, uh, perspective on how to make film, not just the one way that uh, it's been always done, you know, and, and then you have to follow this way. I think uh, the strength of cinema is that you can always be creative and, and creative, just like music, yes. The executive director of the Bopana Center, Chia Sopib, highlighted how cinema culture has been rooted in Cambodian society since the 1950s and became a celebrated cultural activity in the 1960s and early 1970s. However, the Khmer Rouge effectively disrupted or destroyed cinema in Cambodia shortly after. With that said, he positively noted that young people in Cambodia today like to discover the art of filmmaking and express themselves through motion pictures, providing a promising outlook for the industry. Films, I think, play very important roles in uh, supporting young people to express themselves. As you know, many of them have uh, uh, very convenient tools, including uh, their small cameras, camera digitals, and even their smartphones. It's very convenient. And what they need right now is only a platform to teach them uh, how to do that. These platforms allow them to express something very nicely, not only artistic expression, but also other social issue expressions. Uh, this will help raise public awareness about what is happening. And films also help promote local culture to international stage. Like uh, you can see that uh, many films of Cambodia travel around the world and this will help uh, attract uh, international audience to at least pay visit to Cambodia 
uh, so that this will help boost the tourism uh, industry uh, as well. And also film is the very good format of documentations. It's a visual format that, that we can see, we can hear, uh, and we can relate our sense uh, to those kind of uh, uh, activity. Following a huge effort from the royal government of Cambodia in fighting COVID-19, cinemas around Cambodia were finally allowed to reopen again in March 2022. However, only at 50% capacity and with strict standard operating procedures in place. The great success of the national vaccination campaign only continued, and finally, in early May 2022, the Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts requested for cinemas to be able to operate at 100% capacity once again, to which the royal government approved. This has allowed other film-related activities like festivals to also restart. Remarking on the disruptions caused by COVID-19, SIF director Cedric Eloy stated that the last two years had been hard for the entire creative sector, for artists and cultural organizations. However, he believes that the 11th edition of this festival will play a vital role in kickstarting the engine of the Cambodian cinema industry once again. The director of the Cambodia Film Commission, Chiep Sovichia, also commented on how lifting the COVID-19 restrictions following a successful national government effort will allow the commission to resume its work of facilitating the arrival of foreign filmmakers who wish to film in Cambodia at a similar capacity to before the pandemic. เอ่อปตอปีយើងរដ្ឋាភិបាលបានទទួលជួបចេញនៅលើកូវីដ ແລະຖອດພະຍຸນບໍ່ເດອາດຈົ່ງມາສົກເຈີງວິ່ງບານມາຖືການບານ ເຖີບຸນລະດັບງ່າຍຄືການຈໍານາຍຊ້າງ Speaking on the future of the Cambodian film industry, the executive director of the Bophana Center said external factors like the COVID-19 pandemic play a big role in impacting the industry, but nevertheless, he believes that Cambodian cinema will continue to thrive based on the number of new rising filmmakers and ever-growing interest from young people in the medium. It is very difficult to say uh, 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 much about this. Uh, it depends on the global phenomenon. As you can see, that Cambodian film industry started to grow in the last decade. But uh, within two years of pandemics, we uh, have uh, big problems. So we never know what is happening. But if the situation becomes uh, uh, you know, good, like you know, we don't really have any disruption, like COVID-19 or the other issue, uh, I am sure that uh, cinema in Cambodia is going back again. We can see the numbers of, uh, uh, of rising uh, filmmakers in Cambodia, uh, you know, one of which is one of whom is like Ninka uh, This uh, This is something that we can see, so Ken Rado, uh, uh, Paul Lyons, and, and many others. And we also see that young Cambodian people really like this medium, uh, motion picture, so much. They go to cinema, they go to commercial cinema, and also art house cinema. And I feel that uh, uh, we are in a good way moving forward for uh, within this industry.
In his closing remarks, the director of SIF stated that making the festival happen has always been a challenging process that would not have been possible without the support of their teams, partners, friends, and organizations. He further thanked the support of UNESCO, the Australian Embassy, and the continuous encouragement of various ministries, especially the ministries of culture and fine arts, tourism, information, and education. He noted that SIF continues to grow more popular every year, but the festival still needs more support to continue growing. Thus, he invited all companies, institutions, foundations, and others who are interested to join the success story of bringing SIF back this year. He also spoke further on the support of the royal government, as well as what he hopes to see in terms of future support for SIF. We are very lucky because, of course, uh, the government is very supportive of the arts uh, and uh, there is a uh, very strong encouragement to have these platforms for, for filmmakers and uh, uh, for, for educating the youth. And so it's very, it's very good to have this kind of support and uh, we, we are lucky for that in Cambodia. Uh, and from, of course, from other institutions, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, ideas of creating uh, maybe a film competition, maybe a, a film fund to, or, or a, a fund to help uh, more local production to, to, to develop and produce more quality films because of course financing uh, cultural events, cultural products uh, is always challenging but we hope to put together a, a strong community of private and public sector to be able to, to put together uh, yes, more and more um, uh, projects that are uh, dedicated to the industry. The Cambodia International Film Festival is Cambodia's largest international film and cultural event. Initiated in 2010, it acts as a catalyst for the film sector initiative gathering more than 20,000 participants each year. The festival acts as a bridge between Cambodia and the world through the universal language of film and culture, promotes the circulation of films within the region, and promotes Cambodian productions. The 11th edition of SIF will be celebrated in more than 10 different venues around Phnom Penh this year, including the Chaktamuk Conference Hall, Major Cineplex, Legend Cinema, Rosewood Hotel, the Bopana Center, French Institute, Java Creative, and Factory Phnom Penh. The full program for this year's festival will be announced later in June. After two years, the Cambodian International Film Festival is finally back. You can catch this festival next month from 28th June to 3rd July, and films will be screening at several locations, including Major and Legend Cineplex, right here at Rosewood Hotel, the Bopana Center, as well as the French Institute. And we really look forward to attending the festival next month. Darshana Gauten, EAC News, Rosewood Hotel, Phnom Penh.